Some of you have asked me how to make a temporary shell of the hybrid instead of having a permanent version and I'll just go through this very quickly and it's extremely easy to do. The first thing I'm going to separate my hybrid. Okay so here we can see the magic doing its work perfect and we've got the open hybrid with the screw holes in there. Now I want to close those. Go to the next menu where it says closing holes. It says select hybrid to start so we're going to select that and click on that button. This is going to expose our tubes and these little magic tubes are going to do what we need them to, to do. So select the holes that you want to block out and then select your tube and block holes. So this takes a little while because there's, there's a lot of scripting involved. So that's quite easy. So these are all blocked out perfectly. We don't need to smooth them at this stage. Now what we want to do is we want to delete the inside of it. And here you need a little bit of um, uh, blender skills um, because I haven't included anything in here to delete the inside of it. Um, I will most probably do that within an update. Open up your your window, go to the properties, go to your, this is a little triangle and these are vertex groups. Now you're going to go tab edit mode, alt A and you're going to select the thing called protect like that, okay. Then close it down, you're going to go X to delete and you're going to delete the faces, not the vertices, the faces. Okay, now you'll see we end up with something like that. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is select a vertex anywhere on the outside, go to the model designer and you're going to find yourself the clean button that's going to delete the inverse of it. Okay, now this is your eggshell, okay, tab to get out of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the wax up module and you're going to find yourself the folder where it says temporaries. So wax up temporaries. Now this is what this the temporary does, it makes an eggshell. So make temporary shell, okay, this expands, out. it gives us opportunity, how thick do you want it? Uh, if, if you think you can print it uh, one millimeter, that's good, uh, put, put it in there. Okay, so that depends on your printability, if you can make it thicker or thinner or whatever. Click on accept. Okay, now that, what that does, it's going to uh, voxel remesh this inadequate mesh. So to make it print worthy. Okay, so then we're going to uh, we don't have to voxel remesh again, you're going to click on smooth and set this to about um, maybe about 6, right click and put the strength up and the auto smooth up a little bit and the radius a little bit higher like that just so that we don't waste, uh, waste too much time. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to give it a quick smooth over the boundary like this. Okay, and that's about it. And then um, send it to your printer and then you've got yourself a, um, an eggshell, I think they call it a temporary um, hybrid. Okay, here you can still smooth it a little bit. So let's just have a look um, to see our hybrid structure um, and I'm going to just go Alt B to see the inside of it and you can see you can then fill this up with acrylic or whatever and use it as a as a temporary just in case a person doesn't like their teeth or what whatever. So um, someone had asked me about this and I thought I'd just share this um, video with you um, quickly. Okay, cheers, hope you enjoy it, bye.